Well, Nelson Mandela's struggle to liberate South Africa inspired people everywhere. Some of them used his example to become leaders themselves, and they have been paying tribute to the man affectionately known in South Africa as Madiba. Who else in the world could make this happen? Within hours of his death, a moment of silence at the United Nations Security Council. It seems across the globe, there is universal mourning for Nelson Mandela. I'm profoundly saddened uh, by the passing of Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela was a giant for justice and a down-to-earth human inspiration. Many around the world were greatly influenced by his selfless struggle for human dignity, equality, and freedom. He touched our lives in deeply personal ways. At the same time, no one did more in our time to advance the values and aspirations of the United Nations. Nelson Mandela showed what is possible for our world and within each one of us, if we believe, a dream and work together for justice and humanity. I am one of the countless millions who drew inspiration from Nelson Mandela's life. My very first political action first thing I ever did that involved an issue or a policy or politics was a protest against apartheid. I would study his words and his writings. The day he was released from prison gave me a sense of what human beings can do when they're guided by their hopes and not by their fears. And like so many around the globe, I cannot fully imagine my own life without the example that Nelson Mandela set. And so long uh, as I live, I will do what I can to learn from him. Tonight, one of the brightest lights of our world has gone out. Nelson Mandela was not just a hero of our time, but a hero of all time. The first president of a free South Africa, a man who suffered so much for freedom and justice and a man who, through his dignity and through his triumph, inspired millions. The strongest impression of all when you met him was of his extraordinary compassion and generosity and forgiveness. Tonight, families across Britain will mourn with his family and everyone in South Africa. Your greatest son has moved millions, and I believe that his inspiration for the future will be every bit as powerful as the extraordinary things that he achieved in his remarkable life. Um, I just want to say uh, it's obviously extremely sad and tragic news. Um, we just reminded of what an extraordinary uh, and inspiring man Nelson Mandela was. Um, and my thoughts and prayers are with him and his family right now. He was a great leader. He fought with a strong will to end apartheid. He also achieved a major success in building the nation. His policies centered on national reconciliation. I would like to offer my deepest condolences. There are very few people in the world who create history. Many people may know history, but only a few contribute in determining the course of history. Nelson Mandela was one such. In a world marked by division, his was an example of working for reconciliation and harmony and we are not likely to see another of his kind for a long time to come. India regards him as a true Gandhian in spirit and ideal and joins the rest of the world in expressing a deep sense of gratitude to him for his work and teaching. We pray for peace 
what is so. When he was released, he came to my office. And during our conversation, I said to him, I said, Mr. President, I don't understand why you don't feel more resentful and hateful for being kept in solitary confinement in the most productive years in your life. And let me tell you what he said to me. He said, Senator, I became good friends with my jailers. They were just doing their job. When I left, Senator, they all lined up to shake my hand and wish me well. They're my friends. Today, we lost a man, a brother. For the poor, for those discriminated, for those who have been humiliated all their lives, Brother Mandela will remain a source of strength, a guide and inspiration. We will never forget. His life, his fight, his work is a doctrine of liberation. Not just for the people of Africa, not only for the people of America, but for all those living on planet Earth. He did something almost historically unique with this uh, Reconciliation Commission, which raised the prospect that people could be held accountable without being punished in a traditional sense, and that we might all be able to let go of things better and, and live together. This is something virtually without precedent in humanity. He gave the people of South Africa a way to deal with the past in a way that freed them to live in the present and plan for the future. That's an extraordinary achievement after what they had gone through. President Bush 41 wrote, as president I watched in wonder as Nelson Mandela had the remarkable capacity to forgive his jailers, setting a powerful example of redemption and grace for us all. President George W. Bush wrote, President Mandela was one of the great forces for freedom and equality of our time. Mandela had set an example by visiting New Zealand, forgiving the country that had sent its rugby teams to play South Africa during the apartheid years, as portrayed in the film Invictus. Tonight, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, John Key, wrote, Mr. Mandela was a force for change not only in South Africa, but around the world. Reacting tonight, Muhammad Ali wrote, his was a spirit born free, destined to soar above the rainbows. Today, his spirit is soaring through the heavens. He is now forever free. New York's Cardinal Dolan wrote, Nelson Mandela was a hero to the world. His bravery in defending human rights against the great evil of apartheid made him a symbol of courage and dignity, as well as an inspiration to people everywhere. And Mandela's great friend, Archbishop Desmond Tutu's foundation wrote in his name, his fearless generosity and leadership were in the service of transcending our differences by seeking our oneness as human beings. And here is the New Yorker magazine cover, a tribute to the young Mandela, the young freedom fighter. 